Hey there. I have a taste for cornbread and I am not even a bread eater. I think it's because I made this cabbage today and I added some salt pork. So I was thinking back to my um old, I don't want to say old fashioned, but the meals that my mom and them used to make. So I am going to attempt to make a keto cornbread, but I'm going to use buttermilk. So Pause it right now because I'm about to give you the ingredients and then I'm just going to mix stuff up and get to cooking, okay? So I found a couple different recipes online and so I'm hoping this is going to work correctly because I'm adjusting because I want buttermilk in mine. So I will be using a cup of almond flour. I pulled out two large eggs to get to room temperature, so two large eggs, a fourth cup melted butter, so I got my grass-fed Kerrygold butter that I'll be using, and you know, for this, we're just going to melt it in the skillet, uh, and then pour it into the bowl and stir it all up together. I've seen different recipes. One recipe called for a fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm not using it. I'm going to use a fourth cup of uh, buttermilk. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, and I'm also gonna do a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. Let me grab it so I don't forget it. Uh, pink Himalayan sea salt, I'm still here. And you know what? I think a couple of the recipes called for some sweetener. So, uh-oh, I almost lost them. They call for a sweetener, but I think one of them maybe call for like, maybe a fourth cup. I'm not using that much. I may do a couple teaspoons or one tablespoon only of my Lake Lacanto Le monk fruit sweetener because again, I'm trying to keep it keto. So that was the ingredients. Let's run them down again. One cup of almond flour, two large eggs, a fourth cup of melted butter, a fourth cup of buttermilk for me. If you want to do it, try heavy whipping cream. Two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt, and some monk fruit sweetener. I have my oven set for 375 degrees, and I'm going to bake it, I don't know, about 30 or 35 minutes. So, um, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so I have my one cup of almond flour, uh, my two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan sea salt, and the, I did like a tablespoon and a half of monk fruit sweetener. So I have this in here already mixed together. Then I added my, um, uh, my butter, my fourth cup of butter. I've already added it to the skillet to melt down, help, you know, get the skillet nice and hot and get the butter melted. And then I'm actually going to add it to this. So now I'm about to add in my fourth cup of heavy whipping cream and my two eggs to this. And then it will all be going into the skillet. Keep the fingers crossed, okay? Okay. All right. So my butter is melted in my skillet. But I don't think I have enough batter for the big skillet. I should have grabbed a smaller skillet. So I'm going to pour the butter in, but I'm actually going to use a different pan to <laughs> bake it in. Because this skillet is way too big for this amount of cornbread. <laughs> so a little switcheroo going on right the now. The batter looks real good, though. With the buttermilk and the almond flour and everything. I guess you really can't see it much, but the consistency. So I'm kind of excited for it. <laughs> a couple other recipes that I was looking at called for like half and half along with some sour cream. So I'm hoping this buttermilk will make everything okay. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. I'm hoping it's not too thick. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here we go into the oven. Look at how good it looks. I've got to let it cool off. But I can't wait to get a piece. And it may, I think it looks darker, but I like mine dark. I'll show you a piece when I get it cut. Yay! <laughs> Goodness gracious, look at it. Yum. This is going to be delicious. Let's do a taste test. I'll do a little taste test along with the cabbage that I cooked earlier today and the salt pork. This looks delicious, right? Let's taste. Mmm. It's good. Definitely taste the egg with the two eggs. A little sweet from the sweetener. But with the buttermilk, it's good. And my cabbage from this morning. Oh. A nice, good, southern meal. Yummy. Okay, so if you want to try cornbread and on keto, there's a recipe that will work for you. I personally am not big for sweet cornbread, so I'm glad I only used about the... um. I think a tablespoon and a half of the sweetener. Next time I probably, maybe it would only do a half just because of the sweetness. But I added extra butter. Oh, see the bottom? Here's the bottom. Mmm. It's good. Delicious. So, take note of the recipe that I provided and try it out for yourselves. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>